looking, everybody. Barry Hyatt here in Scottsville with my good friend Janet Johnson at the UK Extension Office. And you are putting me up to a challenge, I think, today with some strawberries, I We're think, right? We're going to challenge each other today, Barry. Very simple. And let the folks decide, along with us today, okay. which strawberry salsa that we like best. Because we are entering into the spring season, mm -hmm. summer season soon on its heels, that gives us lots of great fruits and mm -hmm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. But definitely during May, we're going to see strawberries explode in our area. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So why not try a snack or salad idea? And, sure. and we're going to look at different ways you can do the same ingredients, or I'll talk about how you can switch up if you have other mm -hmm. ingredients you like. But we're going to vary what type of dressing, I guess okay. we'll say. Okay. Because when you make a salsa, of course, what you do, as you know, Barry, is that we're adding a little bit of lime juice or something to that salsa. Mm -hmm. We're going to treat this salsa that way, but for other salad options and mm -hmm. pairing the same recipe up with grilled chicken, mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. you might want to switch it up and we're going to try a white balsamic vinegar. Okay. We so, we're going to look at some different options using pretty much the same ingredients today, and mm -hmm. we'll see how we like that. Or okay. Maybe we'll like both oh, equally I, as well. Trust me, if you're involved, I'm sure we'll like both. Well, let's go. <laughs> okay, and basically what we're both going to do is we both are going to start okay. with two cups of chopped tomatoes. Now, you want a meaty tomato for a salsa mm -hmm. because you don't want a real watery salsa. Although there are some thin sauces, restaurant style mm -hmm. uses a lot of juiced tomatoes mm -hmm. in it, and that's great. If you like that, that's good. But we're going to do a chunky salsa, so we've okay. equally started here with two cups of coarsely chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Aroma tomato would work if you mm -hmm. take the seeds out, okay. or you can use a cherry tomato, a salad tomato, a mm -hmm. grape tomato, mm -hmm. either one of those. And so that's okay. what we're starting with. We're starting with a uh, salad tomato, a grape tomato. So we each okay. have two cups. Okay. Translating, if you buy a pint, or if your farmer's market, a pint gives us those two cups. Okay. Very little waste Very with the tomatoes, yeah. especially the cherry tomatoes. Now to that, we're going to add two cups of coarsely chopped strawberries. And of okay. course, strawberries are, again, our focal star of this recipe because they're featured in a unique way. There's a lot of folks I'm sure out there going, oh, I don't know about that strawberry with that <laughs> tomato. You know, even as people often say, I don't like that watermelon with that tomato. Mm -hmm. but Fruit sauces or a combination of fruit vegetable sauces mm -hmm. are really the rage right now. Mm -hmm. And it, it ha always features a tomato star, but mm -hmm. with a unique fruit okay. that has the focus. So it could be peaches, mm -hmm. strawberries, watermelon, mm -hmm. whatever is in season. So mm -hmm. we're going to start with strawberries. And of course, you know, in buying those strawberries, you want that deep, rich color. Mm -hmm. You don't want the wilted caps. That's right. a sign things are beginning to dry out. Right not as much flavor. Mm -hmm. So again, so what we're going to do, Barry, okay. and I'm going to let you do okay. it. Yes. We're going to add the strawberries to tomatoes. our tomatoes. Sure. Okay. I can do that. Oh, of course you can. So <laughs> equal things. So these two go in together. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to add is a little onion. You know, salsas need onion. Mm -hmm. But if you were going to do this recipe as more of a salad accompaniment, okay. mm -hmm. you might choose to forego some of the onion and you might add some chopped cucumber. Okay. And later on when we talk about cilantro being mm -hmm. in both for right. the herb, if you had cucumber, you might like a little mint. Mm -hmm. A little sure. spearmint sure, sure. in that. And that would definitely give a very different flavor <laughs> to that. So I now we would, have a yeah. third option even uh -huh. out there, mint and cucumber versus the sure. onions and cilantro. Okay. But let's go ahead and add onion. Now, with one of the recipes, you have the option of chopping up a bunch of green onions mm -hmm. that you would, and that's viewed as purchasing those at a grocery because you mm -hmm. usually get eight to a bunch. Right. Now, we all know that green onions have different strengths of flavor. Mm -hmm. The tinier they are, the more mild the flavor. Mm -hmm. The larger they are, the more pronounced. And mm -hmm. I usually tend to ask folks to go a little light on onion until you do it to your taste. Right. Some people like a lot of onion, some don't. But green onions mm -hmm. can add a lot of punch if you use the bulb part more mm -hmm. or the green part is less potent. Okay. In terms of onion flavor. So, so we have the same amount of onion here, and that is about a half a cup. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So I'm going to add a half a cup, and I had a little more of the bulb in my dish. Yes, you did. I Barry's that. got a little more of the green stalk for the mm -hmm. young tender spring green onion, and right. that's that's a great vegetable that's out there right now that's mm -hmm. just coming in. Sure. So you can get that at your market. Now again, we talked about the herbs a minute ago. Mm -hmm. We're going to add anywhere from a fourth to a half a cup of cilantro. Cilantro, okay. fresh cilantro, and mm -hmm. any fresh herb is very, very strong mm -hmm. compared to its dried cousins. Uh, although your dried cousins reconstituted can be similar. So again, start mm -hmm. with a little taste, mm -hmm. add more if you like that. Mm -hmm. So the recipe today on one of our sauces tells us to use a half a cup. I backed off on that and I'm doing, you know, about a fourth a cup or okay. less. This one is going to have a little bit more okay. and this one's going to have a little bit less because with my recipe I'm adding a tablespoon of jalapeno. Oh boy. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to kick up the heat on yes, mine. You are. Yeah. We're going to leave that off of yours. Okay. So yours is going to have a milder flavor right. and that would be a, a taste difference. Sure. But, but I'll add the jalapeno and the cilantro. You're just going to add the cilantro. How right. about that? That'll and we'll, we'll see how, how that goes. Sure. Now the fun part, Barry. Mm -hmm. This is what really makes each salsa have really unique flavors, other than the herbs, and okay. they can really vary. Mm -hmm. But you and I are going to mix up a, a dressing for the salsa. Okay. And with salsas, traditionally, we know that we use limes. And um, my recipe calls for the juice of a lime. And so let's okay. just see how much that is. Okay. And I'm going to get this little, have you used this little I juicer? I have not, and, I, and I, cool? I know what this is now. It's yes. because of you, and it's wonderful. Isn't that great? Yeah. And that just really helps us to and get it all, all, it yeah. gets all the juice out. Mm -hmm. And if you have a little problem with mm -hmm. mobility, it also is an easy way to juice that okay. you you can put that in there. Sure. Now, of course, this will depend on the size of your lime as far as how much juice we get mm -hmm. out. But we're going to get at least a couple of tablespoons out of that lime. Yeah, okay. That's great. And keep keep squeezing that out there. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you have a garbage disposal at home, you put these in your garbage disposal oh, and turn it on. Great scent, I bet. Great scent mm -hmm. and helps to disinfect. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Helps to cut the grease that may accumulate mm -hmm. sometimes. So, you know, we've got about a tablespoon or so okay. in that lime. Now, okay. if you we want to add more, we can add more to that. Okay. Uh, but right now, we're going to let you okay. do, uh, I think, a couple of tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar. Okay. Now, you may say, well, that vinegar doesn't look white to me. Well, two tablespoons. So we're talking right, right here, Janet? Yeah. Well, oh. how about if I help you? Because, oh, that would be great. Because that would be, uh, you know, let's just use our tablespoon and measure. And, you know, yep. a little more is not going to hurt. Okay, sure. Like this. And you know what? With this recipe, we could even mix up lime and we could mix these vinegars and okay. acidic juices together. Sure. I mean, a lot of recipes do that for salads. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll say, okay, use a red wine vinegar, and maybe you want to use a cider vinegar okay. or a balsamic, mm -hmm. you know, with those. And, and that's, that's cool mm -hmm. to do that. But now, we've started with that, and we're each going to put in a tablespoon of oil. And I'll just help you okay. out there, That'd Mary. be great. I asked Janet ahead of time, I said, you might want to do this part because I may make a mess. And she said, not a problem. Not a problem. She's a team player. <laughs> we're, we're just putting that in there like that. And, you know, the thing about this, if you mix this up later on and you find, hmm, I think I'd like a little more uh, pizzazz with the juice, mm -hmm. just go ahead and stir in some additional juice or vinegar okay. and that'll do sure. it. But you can see that I've got a little more uh, oil to vinegar than mm -hmm. you do. Right. And so we're going to see what that is. Now, take your whisk. Uh -huh. Sure. And we're going to whisk that up. Now, your recipe also calls for adding a little bit of salt you know, to okay. your little dressing. Okay. And see, my little dressing is, and we want to whisk it up so that we blend the okay. oil and the juice. Okay. So with yours, we're going to add just a little bit of salt, okay. and you whisk again. Okay, sure. And you know what? I think I might add a little salt to mine, oh, too, right. even right. though it doesn't go call right for it. I think I will. The salt also helps to flavor the vegetables as well. Mm -hmm. So that's another little tip to remember when you're making those dressings. Okay. Okay. Sure. So we got those. Now, both of us are simply going to add these dressings mm -hmm. over our vegetables. And we might want to use a spatula to get every last drop out. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the lime juice 
is, is going to add just a little bit of a different flavor uh -huh. to the salsa. And the thing about salsa, letting it set for a while okay. is only going to make it better. Would it be better in the refrigerator or just out? Does it, does it matter where it is? I would put it in the refrigerator. Okay, well, that's yeah. a little bit of a cool taste. There. Yeah, okay. and now you don't want to let this set more than probably a couple of hours. Okay. You know, because we don't want the fruit to mush up and we want it to be served in best flavor. Sure. And that is another tip about fresh fruit salsas, along with vegetables, fruits tend to deteriorate uh -huh. faster and so okay. your salsa begins to get really limp. Right. And this is not a processed salsa. So okay. we want it to have a little bit of texture of the fruit. Yes, sure. So that's why we don't want it to go too limp. Homemade okay. salsa. Yeah, homemade salsa, yeah. exactly. So, you know, what we've got here is that we've got uh, sauces that look very similar, very similar, but they are going to taste different. They're mm -hmm. going to taste different. And we're gonna serve this up and kind of show you the difference, uh, serving it over salad greens and also serving it with tortilla chips. And I've okay. got some blue tortilla chips, not UK blue. But blue tortilla chips. But blue nonetheless. But we are blue in Kentucky. nonetheless. That is right. That is right. And we're going to serve it up with those traditional chips, but because of the color of this, those blue tortilla chips just make this sauce a pop. Oh, I bet, yeah. And this is a great way to use those best fresh strawberries in a different way. And, you know, probably another thing, too, that, that makes the strawberries so neat is because they obviously have a sweet flavor, but, you know, tomatoes aren't considered to be a... Uh, a sweet tasting fruit. No, you know. they're not. And they're so you not. have the two, uh, I guess, blending together and it makes it taste really great. It, it has kind of that sweet sour yes. kind of sensation. And with the dressings, the sour is accented with different flavors mm -hmm. as well. So trust me, you're going to really like this as something unusual, very refreshing mm -hmm. and great, either as a chip mm -hmm. and dip right. or as a salad. Condiment. Outstanding. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's going to be very easy to get this recipe as well. It's easy. Just contact me at North Central. My email address there is barry.hyatt at nctc.com or simply just go to our website. The address there is www.nctc.com. Of course, you can see the video of this taping along with the recipe. It's our uh, website lady does a great job of that. Oh, and yes. So it's just a wonderful, great. Great wonderful thing to look at. Yeah. We've had several requests for different recipes through the years, and we want you guys to continue uh, to, to contact me, and we'll make sure you get those recipes. It's very fun, isn't it, Janet? It is very fun, and so glad that you played along here as yes. we give people a different look at two different versions of the same salsa. And very easy to do. Very easy to do. With the exception of... <laughs> measuring. The measuring, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll work on that the next time. Well, listen, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Janice, thanks so much for your time today. You're as more well. than welcome. Always glad to have you. Yes, ma'am. You guys take care. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you again real soon.